the successful sequencing of the human genome at the turn of the 21st century opened the door to a myriad of discoveries in the field of cancer research. This discovery has given scientists a more accurate picture of cancer beyond even its cellular level down to the genetic level. Every cell contains messenger RNA, a set of instructions that determines what a cell is going to do. The tumor cell could stay benignly in place or break off, becoming absorbed into the bloodstream and metastasizing elsewhere in the body. Through genetic mapping, a doctor can now determine a patient's chance of experiencing metastasis of her cancer. This new advance was conceived by a team of specialists at the Netherlands Cancer Institute, birthplace of Agendia. Doctors Laura Van Veer and Bernhard Sixt, along with Professor Dr. René Bernards, address the need of a more comprehensive analysis of breast cancer tumors by developing a method that establishes a genetic profile of tumors that are likely to reappear. This method, published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2002, became the basis for Mammaprint, Agendia's first clinical product. At the time of diagnosis, the most important thing to get to know is what is my risk that this disease will come back or not. And so that's where the Mammaprint is very helpful because it gives you a risk estimate whether it will come back at high risk or whether it is a less likely tumor that will come back in, in future time. And so based on that, the oncologist together with the patient can choose for the most optimal treatment to prevent the outgrowth of a recurrence of disease. After removing the tumor from the patient, the oncologist sends a small fresh sample of the tumor to Agendia where scientists will determine the activity of about 4,000 genes to read out a 70-gene profile. The result of the testing and profiling will then be put into a report and sent to the oncologist, who will use the report to determine the best course of treatment for the patient. What you see behind me here is a light microscope, which has been one of the major tools to uh, reach a diagnosis in cancer for the last 100 years. And what you really do in a light microscope is you look at the outside of the cancer cell and you hope by looking at the outside that you understand what's going on inside, in, under the hood of the engine that drives the cancer cell. And really what you can do by molecular diagnostics is to look under the hood of the cancer cell to look at the engine that drives the cancer cell forward. And by understanding what drives the cancer cell, you get a far better understanding of what type, type of cancer you're really dealing with. And therefore, it really provides a lot of additional information for the oncologist to treat the patient in the correct way. Agendia is also active in the diagnostics of cancer of unknown origin. Tumor of unknown origin is the fourth most common cause of cancer mortality, also known as cancer of unknown primary, CUP. This type of tumor is one that has metastasized from its original tumor. A patient diagnosed with a CUP is generally given a survival rate of six to eight months, with an overall survival rate of less than 10%. To address this issue, the researchers at Agendia have created a new diagnostic service to identify the primary tumor in patients diagnosed with CUP. CUP print is a gene expression profile which identifies uh, the tumor type. Um, so how it works, so you have a disease where a tumor grows in a primary site and then settles to a secondary site uh, and the primary site uh, just disappears. And when the patient uh, reports to the physician, they only find the secondary site and they don't know where it comes from. And this is a very clinically relevant question because here the treatment of this tumor is much more successful if you treat it according to the tumor uh, behavior of the primary site. So if it's a breast cancer, for example, you should use specific breast cancer treatment. Uh, and with Cuprint, we can, with 82% uh, accuracy, identify the primary site, which gives a clear answer to the physicians and benefits the patients. While the number of women being diagnosed with breast cancer has increased over the years, the number of breast cancer deaths has actually decreased. This decline can be attributed not only to an increase in early detection, but also exciting new technologies that offer healthcare providers a clearer picture of a patient's condition. For more information on Agendia's latest clinical products, 
please visit their website at www.agendia.com. <music>